Good day, guys. Um, welcome once again to my channel. So it's been a while since I've made um, tutorial videos, my Excel tutorial videos. You can check that out if you want to see what kind of videos that I've been creating. So in this um, one-off video, I want to quickly show you guys how um, you can insert equations into your Google slide. So recently, I had problem with my Microsoft um, software, so I had to resort to making use of Google Slide. Now, I believe most of us are familiar with what Google Slide is. It's simply more like a replacement or like a substitute for Microsoft PowerPoint. So I, what I wanted to do involved um, using an inserting equation. So I had a bit of challenge using equations on it. So I just decided to make a video so as to show um, how I was able to, you know, create equations on it so let's just say click on the new slide and let's just give it a title say um equation now right and equation or something like that right so the first thing that you have to note um, when it comes to using microsoft powerpoint equations on it is that there is no um, sort of um default tool for you to create equations on it so basically google didn't add some sort of equation where you can just come here and then add equation we have a similar feature in google docs but google google slides does not have that particular functionality so in order for you to use your to insert equations properly you have to use add-ons so clicking on add-ons here now you notice that I already have my math equations installed, but normally if you do not have any add on on your Google slide, this place will be empty. So you can just click on your get add ons, right? So depending on how fast your internet connection is, this should load pretty fast. So you search for your mathematical equation. Now, ordinarily, you'd um, see, okay, this is the two results that you get for your math equations. Now, you see that this has a rating of 3.7, while this has a rating of 2.6. However, um, my experience with this is, um, it's of course, you'd want to go for the one with higher ratings. However, my experience was not that good. It wasn't really that slick. Um, after, I think, after the first use, when I tried to use it again, it's... It wouldn't even load the equation. It wasn't really a nice experience, even though it had a higher rating. However, what I opted for is this, um, which has a rating of 2.6. Now, the reason why this has a very low rating, I think, I believe, is because of um, the technicalities that it's that is involved in using it. A lot of people that give bad reviews of it, they just don't understand how it works. They don't know how how to use latex to um, write the equation. So that is one thing that i really found about this so all you just have to do is just to click on it and since i already have it installed that's why i have the option to uninstall it if you do not have it installed you just click on install and installing is very very simple and easy on google search so once you have it installed now after having it installed you can just close it and come back to your add-on you have your math equations here so you just go right straight to menu now on your menu you'd um have this panel right here by your right right okay so let me just do that again again yeah. okay okay so fine we have it here so this is exactly how the equation is going to appear um the math equation had zone is going to appear right so you have it let me just try to make this a little bit bigger okay okay i don't think i can make it bigger okay so this is how you're going to have it so However, the um, the main um, difficulty that you'd have using this is that the only way that you can create an equation is 
um, using what we call latex. Now, latex is like um, some sort of like HTML format for creating equations. So you have this set of text of strings that if you write it to automatically transform it to these properly formatted stuff and and maths um, equation format, right? Now it's very easy to use. Now that's why I was able to use it because that was like my introduction to latex as well. So it is very, very easy to use. So it's just as simple as just searching for anything that you want to do and you just easily have a way to go around it, right? So for example, let's say I just want to create a fraction in, in latex. I can easily just search for that so latex. And then I'll find out how to quickly do that. Okay, so you can see some special stuff now. For example, if you want to do your x squared as x, then your caret 2. Now, this is x raised to power 2 plus a, x your caret, then curly braces, right? Then n subscript 1. So you're already seeing some basic stuff that you can use multiplication as slash times dot that slash c dot right this is for your sqrt that's square root so now you can see here i have fractions right i have fractions here so what you'd notice is that okay you see this is the one that really really um defines what fraction is so we have two over three you'd see this slash frac now the first curly braces we have what is will be on your numerator which is two and then the second one we have the one on your denominator which is two right so you can see how this one too is formatted so i believe we can just keep this page as a reference so you can easily quickly check up any kind of um mathematical format that you want to create you can see that it is very very easy it's more like um html sort of right so you can see how this very long one was done fraction so this is like a fraction of fraction again now so in the first fraction there's another fraction there so it's like a nested fraction right so this is what we have your slash frac now the first one contains a fraction the second one contains a fraction so that is how latex basically work so let's just quickly create um a formula so let's say we want to create formula for um okay let's say now i've never done this before so i'll just quickly do that oh um, let's do that of um the quadratic formula right so i think that's an interesting one so we know that to create our quadratic formula we are going to be having our numerator and our denominator right so let's quickly we know that we are going to be starting with a fraction so we have our black slash frac then the open curly braces now this is where the entire denom um numerator is going to be going into the next one is going to be where we are going to be having our denominator now for the numerator we are going to be having what minus b right so you can have minus b you can see it's already displaying the text around a so we are going to be having our minus b now we have our plus or minus now let's quickly um check through now you can see this plus or minus sign all we just have to do is our slash pm so you just come here so you can just have backslash pm here yeah, now so you can see that it already displays the plus or minus sign here plus or minus now square roots now let's quickly have a quick check now we know that our square root is slash sqrt as uh, you must have guessed so slash sqrt right so um sqrt however what we are going to be imputing our square root is going to be quite long what you'd notice is that um in in place of normal braces and and um a normal if you want to write a normal formula you'd see that latex is using more of um um curly braces so what we just do is just to make use of curly braces to impute those stuffs that i want to that i want to add in our square roots so we have b squared now to do b squared as we saw earlier your carrot that's what you're going to be using to to do your b squared now minus 4ac 4ac now you can see that our formula is coming on now over 2a now over like the 2a is going to be your denominator so all you have to do is to jump to these other curly braces and then you have your 2a 
So once, okay, that's two Q. Sorry, now we have two A. Now once you're done, all you have to do is to click the add to slide. Once you're done with that, it will automatically add it like some form of image here. Now you notice that this is quite big, right? Okay, you can easily resize these. You can easily resize it to your taste. However, you can also modify how big you want the the text to be. So if if you come here now, if you change this size to small, now you notice that this value decreased. You can also manually input the text size that you want. So let's say I want 30. And then I click add to slide, right? So you see that this is much smaller, and I can easily you can see that this this flows more with my text, although it's a little bit smaller, but it's still it will still work. You get now. So this is exactly how I can easily create equations. And you notice that this works more like an image. It's like um, it's it's like a, or the the add zone will create this sort of text and then convert it to image and then um. You just create the equation and convert to image and then add it to Google Slide. So you can basically do almost anything that you can do with your image on it. You see crop image, replace image and things like that. So you can easily adjust it and then move it around. Then if you need to change the color of the formula. So let's say I want to write some other formula now. Let's quickly do a formula for say um, the area of a sector. So to do that, you can easily, now we already, once you have that basics, it's very easy for you to create almost any formula you get now. So let's quickly do that of, a, of the area of a sector. Now the area of a sector is given as t over 360 times pi r squared, right? So <clears throat> the first challenge that we're going to be having is the latex code for um, theta, the latex code for pi. So easily you can just quickly check up a tab on that, uh, okay? Um, latex for for what theta right to so quickly have that the command can you see here the command is so you even have a website for latex tutorial you can easily check that as slash theta now you, you can also check the one for pi 2 so let's quickly start creating our formula now we know that we are going to be having theta over 360 times 2 pi r so the first part is going to be a fraction, right? The numerator is going to be the theta, the denominator is going to be 360. So we, we are going to be having fraction, frac, now the curly braces. Um, now we are going to be having our theta and the first, which is the numerator, theta over 360, 360, right? Now times, you must have seen that in the previous um, page. Now this is multiplication slash times. You can just come here, put your slash times. Then theta over 360, um, sorry, times pi r squared now. Now what's the latex for pi? We already did that of theta, so let's go for pi. Okay, this is not that straightforward, but from here I think you can see something like slash pi a already. They get now, so you don't really need to start looking for for it. Once you see something that looks like a code that represents it from the preview page of the Google search, you can just impute that and then try it out. Of course, there's no harm in trying. What was pi? Okay, you can see that it gives me the the symbol pi and r squared. Okay, so sometimes I might need to add space to make sure that the formula is not um distorted because that will be seen as slash pir now. So it's slash pi space bar r now squared the carrot and then two. So that's it. And then I can just come here. I can probably just I might wanna in, increase I want to increase my my size a little bit, then add the equation. Now you see we have a very sweet little nice equation here so you might want to also change the color right you can just change the color to i like blue so we just have this blue here then come to add to slide and yeah you have it your formula in blue so that'll be all on this particular lesson thank you very much for watching to the end i'm very sure that you by now you now know how to create and manipulate formulas and in um 
PowerPoint and then this is more like a two-in-one tutorial because now you also know how to easily use latex to create equations and write very long and tricky equations and even nest um, equal functions within each other in latex so thank you very much for sticking around to the end you can also if you like my videos even though they're a little bit um, still basic for now you can just click the um, subscribe button that red button there yeah click it then the little bell icon beside you can also give a thumbs up if you find this useful thank you very much bye